Um, a couple of things about Peter is that everyone that goes through his system, they all have a great technique, but more importantly than that, Peter has the ability to know the difference between great technique and also making a player find their own way. And, and, and everyone has a different way of hitting a forehand and a backhand, and whilst Peter always teaches the right way to do it, he doesn't stop them from being a little different. And I think that's really important from a coach's perspective. And every time I got on the court with Peter, you worked as hard as you possibly could. Uh, you knew that you're on the court for a certain purpose, and that was to become a better tennis player. And he always instilled a great work ethic. I got the opportunity to work hand in hand with Peter for a certain amount of time during Leighton Hewitt's early period and and I couldn't fault anything that Peter did. You know, I got Leighton and technically he was great. He still had some flair about him. He worked extremely hard and you know the type of person Leighton Hewitt is and, and a lot of that a lot of those qualities were instilled in him from Peter Smith. So it made my job much easier getting the Leighton Hewitt that I did than if there were a lot of deficiencies in his game. It didn't matter how long he wanted to spend on the court, he would be there two, three, four hours and he would always be willing to push himself extremely hard. You get that from the type of training that you get as a 10, 11, 12 year old and that was the years that he was working really hard with Peter. Um, technically he was sound. Nothing wrong with his game at all. He's only a little guy, so certainly working on his serve was a big aspect of that. Um, but his game was pretty well rounded. It was just uh, for me teaching him to play tournament tennis, teaching him to have a game that he could bring out against the best players in the world. And and from a, a technical point, and from a flair point, and from a work ethic point, Peter did a great job. Yeah, he did me a big favour because my, my first boy was being born in 2001, so I stayed home during the month of March and Peter took over the reins and travelled with Leighton across to the States and they had some great success. I think Leighton made the semi-finals of Indian Wells and also the semi-finals of Miami and, and did a great job. And I know uh, Leighton spoke extremely highly of Peter's time with him and uh, it's not easy going from uh, working with a player in their teens to all of a sudden taking on a player who was entrenched in the top 10. And Peter stepped into that role and I was lucky to get my job back, put it that way. So he did a great job and he would have no problems stepping into a high profile coaching role today. It's uh, the type of person he is and he would step up to that challenge for sure. Well, Peter was, I have a couple of people that I would call my best friends and one of them lives in Melbourne now and Todd Viney and Peter was the other my other uh, friend that I was extremely close to so when he died suddenly it so certainly ripped the heart out of myself and I know it did for Peter Smith as well and a lot of people here in Adelaide and Peter was a great friend to many people and and I guess you know when something like that happens you sort of have to take stock in in your life and and what your priorities are and, and what's important to you and Obviously, going out there and enjoying life is something that I've tried to do every day and, and Peter taught me a lot of great values in the time that he was, he was with us. Um, I know that he and Peter Smith were extremely close as well and, and he always spoke extremely highly of, of Peter Smith and, and basically uh, Peter was his coach throughout his whole career. So um, it's it, tough to, to bring memories back to that time but also uh, whenever I do think of carts, it certainly does bring a smile to my face. So. Um, they were great days. Uh, we just wished that Peter was still here with us.